More nutty stuff from the far left. Three more reasons for Democrats to stay far away from far left fanatics. That's the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Yet some students at the ultra-liberal New School insulted and heckled Senator McCain when he spoke to them at their graduation. Yet this exposition is standard procedure for the far left which tolerates no dissent. Reason number two, the ombudsman for NPR recently lashed out at two dishonest far left websites, Media Matters and Think Progress. For the ombudsman has now learned firsthand just how vicious the far left blogs are. And finally, I made a mistake the other day trying to have a civil conversation with Natalie Maines of the Dixie Chicks, a committed member of the far left. Stay clear of the far left fanatics. They are a bitter crew and are not looking out for you or anyone else who doesn't share their foolish view of the world. And that's the memo, or whatever. Unresolved problem segment tonight, as we told you in the Talking Points memo, the far left is becoming increasingly bizarre in America, and that might hurt the Democratic Party, as most of those loons associate themselves with Democrats to some extent. And last week, far left activists actually showed up at Donald Rumsfeld's house. I wish I were. I think these people hurt the left, the liberal, the moderate left, so much. But I could be wrong, as but always, Marianne. I got to run. Well, predictably, the left-wing press in Oregon has sided with Fronmeyer, who has compared me to a frog. I am Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us. We'll see you again next time. Remember, the spin stops here, because we're looking out for you.